Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel News in Brief. Today we'll be talking about PM Kisan Scheme, which stands for Pradhan Mantri Kisan Sammana Nidhi Yojana. India being an agrarian country, two-thirds of its population relies on agriculture for their livelihood. Agriculture is also the most significant source of income for the centre and the state government as it contributes to the Indian economy about 20% to the total GDP and also provides employment around 58% of the population. Farmers who are the pillars of our nation, backbone of our nation are very important to our country. It is important in order to provide them some benefits and support. And that is why the PM scheme, which helps in the to provide the financial support to both the farmers and their families. So today we'll be talking about PM Kisan scheme, objectives, its history, who is responsible for its implementation, beneficiaries and their benefits, who are the non-eligible ones, what is the process of registration, budget allocated and what is the impact of the scheme. As I said you, it is a scheme which aims at providing income support to the farmers and their families. It was launched on 24th February 2019 but it came into force on 1st December 2018. It is a central sector scheme with 100% funding from the Government of India. It comes under the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. Objectives The core objectives of this scheme is to provide income support to all eligible land holding farmers and their families. To supplement the financial needs of the farmers in procuring various inputs to ensure proper crop health and appropriate yields and anticipate the farmer's income. The scheme also aims to cover around 2 crore farmers with an estimated expenditure of 87,217 crores. They also protect from the money lenders, which in turn needs to be provided with a high rate of interest. How did the PM scheme manifest? It? There was a scheme called Rutu Bandhan scheme which was implemented first by the government of Telangana and a scheme called Anadata Sukhibhava by Andhra Pradesh government. Kalia scheme where Kalia stands for Krushak Assistance for Livelihood and Income Augmentation Scheme by the Odisha government. All these schemes gave a positive outcome and this positive outcome made the government of India to implement a nationwide project and that was PM Kisan scheme. In the video you can see that in the video you can see that The PM Kisan scheme, before PM Kisan scheme, Rutubandan was there, which was appropriately providing beneficiaries to 6 million people. Anadata Sukibhava scheme, about 7 million people. Kalya scheme to 6 million people. Talking about the beneficiaries and their benefits. Who are the beneficiaries of this scheme? Firstly, he needs to be the citizen of India. And all the farmers and their families are the beneficiaries. Irrespective of the size of their land holding. There is a small definition given by this scheme for farmer's family. A family comprising of husband, 
wife and a minor children who owns cultivable land as per land records of the concerned states or union territories farmers who had registered within 1st december 2018 to 1st february 2019 for the next 5 years all of them are eligible the implementation responsibility is given to the respective states and or the union territories it is their responsibility to identify the beneficiaries there are some exception for example if there is a death of the land owner a succession maybe his son will get the next ownership of the land and he will be eligible for the scheme he will be the beneficiary of the scheme whereas if a owner of the land gifts it or a sale deeds it to an other party then both the parties won't be eligible for this benefits of this scheme what are the benefits the benefit is to provide the farmers up to 6000 rupees per year in three equal four monthly installments of 2000 rupees each directly into the bank account under direct benefit transfer mode so it is important for the farmer or the beneficiary to have an aadhar linked bank account under first installment 3 crore 33 lakhs 14898 beneficiaries availed worth over 666.27 crores under second installment 2 crore 89 lakh 59068 beneficiaries availed worth over 579.18 crore it also reduces the credit burden doubling of farmers income and also to increase the productivity these are the benefits of this scheme coming to non eligible ones who are the non eligible ones all institutional land holders and farmers in whose family or any member of the family holds the constitutional post or if there is any minister state minister members of lok sabha or rajya sabha mayors of municipal corporation district panchayat chairmen all of these are non eligible all serving or retired officers and the employees of center or the state governments are non eligible autonomous institution under the government employees of local bodies are not eligible all the retired pensioners whose monthly pension is 10000 rupees or more is not eligible excluding multitasking staff or group group d employees income tax income tax player payers are not eligible professionals like doctors engineers lawyers chartered accountants architects are not eligible coming to process of registration how a farmer will register himself under this scheme there's two modes you can register one is the online mode and other one is the offline mode for the online mode a person or the farmer has to visit to the pm kisan portal as you seeing in the video in the pm kisan samman nidhi website as you scroll down you'll come across something called new farmers registration please click on that new farmers registration and you can select on the rural farmer registration enter your aadhar number enter your mobile number and state select the state under which you fall and fill the captcha code and once you finish 
click on the get OTP icon. Once you get the OTP, fill it and then you get an option called submit. Click on the option submit. If you want to check your status, you can go to the same portal and there is something called status of self-registered farmers or CSF farmers. Click on that, enter your other number, CAPTCHA code and press on the search button and your personalized data and all the status will be reflected on the screen immediately. Offline mode, farmers can call up Kisan call center. Num the troll number is 18001801551. The registration is then done by the Kisan call center agent. All the details are then recorded in Kisan knowledge management system. Or you can also directly approach the officer of the agriculture department which is present in every Hobli. You can also register yourself in CSC, Common Service Center. There is also an helpline number. PM Kisan helpline number which is 155261 or 011243006006. You can also contact this number. Budget. What was the budget allocated? In the financial year 2022-2023, 4.6% of the budget was allocated for PM Kisan scheme, which was about 68,000 crore. Impact. The impact of this scheme. The average cost of cultivation among the beneficiaries were lesser than the non-beneficiaries. The net returns were more among the beneficiaries than the non-beneficiaries. Proper guidance about procuring seeds, fertilizers, wages for the labors, which was given by the PM Kisan, led to a huge difference in the yields among the beneficiaries and the non-beneficiaries. The scheme also impacted to increase the productivity and the efficiency. Finally, we come to the end of this video. Thank you so much. Hope the information was useful. See you all soon with another video. Please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon for the notification. Thank you.